Que la que? This is my Darkling tag video. I wrote the questions in a notebook and I'll be reading from there and answering them. The video is probably going to be long because it's a couple of questions. Question number one. What is your favorite candle scent? I don't really have one, but I am very particular with scents. There are a lot of smells that I don't like, like I hate lavender and patchouli, stuff like that. So the very few times that I actually do buy candles, it can't be very sickly sweet. I do love the smell of vanilla, but not all vanilla, because French vanilla candles are disgustingly sweet smelling and I hate it. So sometimes I go for cucumber melon, cinnamon, and stuff like that. Do you have a favorite book? I do. It would be Switchers by Kate Thompson. I first read it when I was in middle school, then I found out it was a trilogy and I finished reading that I think in my early 20s or something like that. And I also have to say that I'm a fan of Lestat, The Vampire Lestat by Anne Rice, that specific book. I've read it a few times. Are you a tea or a coffee person? Coffee. I do love me some coffee, but only if it's Puerto Rican coffee. Every time I go to the United States, I have to remind myself not to order black coffee because it's very watery. So I like my coffee black and strong with no sugar. So whenever I'm at the States, I just order tea. I do prefer tea when I'm in the States, but if I'm here in Puerto Rico, black coffee. What is your favorite brand and color of lipstick? My favorite brand would have to be Jeffree Star and Makeup Monsters. Favorite color? I'm going to be predictable and boring and say black and red. What is your favorite perfume or cologne? None. I hate perfume. I do not wear perfume. Every time I have to walk by the, the cosmetics and perfume section at a department store, I just want to get the fuck away from there as soon as possible because I can't stand the smell of perfume. Cologne, even though I don't like perfume for myself, I have liked the colognes that my best friend, if you can call him that, uses. Do you have a celebrity crush? I am going to sound predictable and say Johnny Depp. Yeah, Johnny Depp. If you had to give up the color black, what color would you choose instead? That would have to be red. <laughs> because if it's not black, it's gonna be red. If you could change your name to a stereotypical 90s, 2000s, gothy name, what would it be? Morgana. I actually used that name when I was 13, 14, around the year 2000. So, yeah, it would be Morgana. What are your top three tips for surviving hot weather while black clad? Huh. <laughs> hot weather. I live in forever summer, so I'd have to say 100% cotton, avoid layering at all costs, and wear a hat. Any kind of hat. A cap, a hat, a beanie, just something that doesn't heat your head as much.
Yeah. What song will always make you happy? Doesn't have to be a goth band. The theme song for Happy Tree Friends always makes me happy. Are you active in the arts? Play an instrument, paint, write, etc. Yes, I do play an instrument. I play synth synthesizers. I sometimes draw, rarely paint, and sometimes I write. All of the stuff that I do, I usually post it on my Tumblr. If you had a teacup or mug made and scribed just for you, what would you have it say? Any time is coffee time. Because I'm one of those weirdos that drinks coffee at 2 o'clock in the morning and don't give a fuck. What is your number one non-gothy hobby? I don't have a lot of hobbies, you know, besides music, sleeping, eating, drinking. So I'd have to say playing cheesy romance games. Yeah, I play those stupid boyfriend game apps. ¿Qué pasa? You want to be part of the video? If you could be a supernatural creature, what would it be and why? A vampire. Um, I've always enjoyed seeing the beauty in things, so being a vampire would allow me to do that across several lifespans to be able to travel, meet people, and just see things. What horror monster based superpower would you have? I'm not a fan of horror movies, but I'd have to say ghost physiology, the ability to turn invisible, walk through walls, that kind of thing for haunting or whatever. Do you feel confident or comfortable interacting with other goths or gothy people online or in real life? Why or why not? Online, yeah, uh, some of my Facebook friends are goth and I follow a few gothy people on Instagram and sometimes we interact. In real life, I don't know many goth people and the only time that I get to see them is the very few times I make an appearance at goth parties and that's basically once a year and maybe not even that. I I don't hang out with gothy people in my area. I do know some but I rarely leave the house period. Which is more important for a look? Great hair or great makeup? Every time I try to record, she just comes and decides to play. She was taking a nap. Salday! Why can't you just go back to sleep? Right. Great hair or great makeup? I'd have to say great makeup because for me personally, I'm not great with hair. I basically have 
three hairstyles like either the Morticia long straight hair the Wednesday two braids or the Sailor Moon two buns and that's basically it like I don't know how to do mm, hairstyles and I think great makeup shows like a lot of artistry and that kind of stuff not saying that with hair it doesn't because I can appreciate a good hairstyle but for me that would be like the priority like what's on your face I mean your hair frames your face but your face is your face so yeah great makeup is there something you wish there was more of in your subculture? I guess more people, because like I said earlier, I I don't know like a lot of gothy people, and the few that I do, they live nowhere near me, I, and I only see them once in a blue moon. Care to share an embarrassing story related to your darkliness? <laughs> well, there was that one time I was wearing my six inch platforms and and I fell walking into a Walgreens. So the security guard and everybody at the register saw me fall and that was fun. It was a lot of fun. Sunday. <sighs> How are you at DIY? I'm okay in some things since I know how to crochet, I know how to sew, and I've done a little bit of jewelry and that kind of thing. So. Uh, I'd like to experiment more, but yeah, I guess I'm, I'm okay. Quickly describe your ideal wedding. <laughs> I've told my mom that the only way that I would ever get married dressed in white would be if I'm dressed as a stormtrooper from Star Wars. <laughs> And the groom would have to be married as, would have to be dressed as Darth Vader. But I'm not a fan of weddings. If I would, if I ever decided to get married, I would involve just very few people. It would probably be at a beach or something like that. But uh, I don't care about weddings. Confessional. True or false? I'm going to read some statements and I'm going to answer true or false. I love watching cheesy romance films. False. I always remember to wash off my makeup at night. True. Even if I'm super drunk, almost going to pass out, I will take off my lenses, my falsies and wash my face. Yes, that has happened. I sleep with plushies. False. Unless I count my cat. I wear non-black pajamas most nights. False. I usually wear a black t-shirt or my Batman pajamas or stuff like that so it's mostly black or sometimes I'll wear my red plaid pajamas why is my cat being so annoying she's on she only does this when I'm recording it's like she knows she knows <laughs> next statement I listened to a boy band that had disbanded years ago. False. No, it's I still listen to a boy band that had disbanded years ago. False. 
I think Andrew Eldridge is overrated. False. I don't care. I don't like vampires. False. I don't like clubs. False, but true. I don't like most of the clubs that are in my area because they don't play music that I like. So... I do like them if they're playing music that I like. So I only leave the house to go to the clubs if I like the event and the music, if that makes sense. I'm dating a goth, darkly inclined person. False. I don't enjoy graveyards. True. Most of the times that I go to the graveyard is because somebody died. So it usually carries very, very sad emotions. Blood makes me queasy. Surprisingly, yes. I can't see videos of surgeries and that kind of thing. But amazingly, I could see the Saw movies with no problem. So it's just weird. I'd sooner faint than pet a spider. False. I would pet I would pet a spider. No, I would never pet a cockroach. No. I don't like haunted houses. True. <coughs> I still browse Hot Topics clearance racks. True. I am very guilty of that. The only times that I ever go to Hot Topic just go straight to clearance. I've never read Dracula. False. I did read Dracula when I was 15 or something like that. I think Bella Lugosi's Dead is a long and boring song. False. I think it's a good song to have in the background while working. So that's been my Darkling tag video. I would like to tag Nael if you want to do this video. I'll post the questions in the description. And yeah, this has been fun and entertaining, and that's it for now, so bye!